Hey YouTube, it's Autumn Beckman. Welcome to my channel or welcome back. Please click the like button if you like this video, the subscribe button if you'd like to see more from me, and also please click that little bell so you're notified when I post new videos because otherwise it doesn't always notify you. All right, like the title says, I have a little Henry Bendel haul for you today. I have one thing that I bought in the store yesterday and then I have three boxes that I bought online and had shipped to me. And they're all small things, um, no bags, but I'm excited to open them and see some of these things in person that I haven't seen before. I'm gonna open what I got from the store first because otherwise I think I will forget to show it to you because it's sitting on the floor here. And it came in this enormous bag, but don't let that fool you because it's actually a small item. They just didn't have any small bags. So in the bag they have the beautiful tissue paper and they, oops, they had it um, kind of scrunched up like, like people do when you put tissue paper in bags. But I want to show this to you in case you've never seen it. So it is a drawing of their Fifth Avenue store over like repeated. And it's so pretty. Look at the details in that. It's just so nice. It's beautiful tissue paper. I love it. One of the things about Henry Bendel is they have of the most beautiful packaging it's not a super high-end store i would put them up there with like kate spade and coach and those sorts of brands as far as price but they are up in the level of louis vuitton and chanel and hermes and dior as far as packaging um, in my opinion so the bag is nice and sturdy it has that beautiful tissue paper while i was in the store they offered me some henry bendel water check it out and then the item that i got i don't know if it usually comes in a dust bag i think it probably doesn't but i asked for one because last time i was in the store which was the first time that i bought anything i bought a train case and i have a video on that if you'd like to see it the lady talked to me i was telling her that i was getting pieces for travel and she gave me a bunch of dust bags to use for travel and oh my gosh i used them they're fabulous they're a nice, like, heavy canvas, and they have the ribbon drawstring. They are just fantastic dust bags and great to reuse for travel and stuff. So I asked if she could give me one, and she did. She's very nice of her. So inside my item is wrapped in more of that beautiful tissue paper. And this item I saw when I was in the store to buy the train case, and it was, it caught my eye. I thought it was so pretty but it was a hundred dollars and i didn't want to pay that much for it but i bought that i don't know a month or two ago and i went back to the store thinking they wouldn't have it anymore and i still didn't want to pay a hundred dollars for it um but i haven't been able to get it off my mind i keep thinking about it and that is this tray and it's a lacquered wood tray and i'll show you the back of it too because it has something special written on the back so the back is and I have the original sticker on it, so you can see there it was $98. Um, and then look at the back, it says Henry Bendel 120th Anniversary Special Edition. That was one of the reasons I wanted it, because it was this special edition. Celebrating our historic Fifth Avenue store, Henry Bendel, New York, founded in, is that 1895? And here is a close-up, so it's that same drawing that's on the tissue paper. And it's their Fifth Avenue store in New York. They still had it. It was the last one they had in the store. And it was part of the semi-annual sale. So it was 60% off. That's why I got it. If it was still 100 I wouldn't have paid that much. But I also saw another tray that I really want, which is 128 That I may pay that much for at some point. Because if you look at my Instagram, or maybe I'll insert the picture here. You'll see that it has a lady sitting on a couch with a dog, and I'm a sucker for anything with dogs. So, and you'll see that in a minute with another item that I got from here. So that's what I got in the store. I was so surprised that they still had that. Okay, let me get through this so this video is not, you know, too incredibly long. So here's box number one. And again, with the packaging, first of all, they have this, this tape. Um, like who else has special tape? I haven't seen anybody else with that. And then they include your receipt in a cute little envelope that has stripes inside. That's their signature brown and white stripes. They give you a shopping bag. Now I did request gift wrapping on all these items. I don't think I requested it on this box, but I did request it on the other two. 
So I'm curious to see if there's anything different about how these two boxes are packaged. But they included this shopping bag, which is very nice. And I thought about cutting these up and using them as dividers in my agendas because I have those and you know Louis Vuitton and Tiffany and Hermes and all that stuff. Um, I think those would be really cute dividers. Okay, so they've got this packing paper. And, oh, these are tiny little items. So, more packing paper. And my two tiny little items in that box. This item I don't think I realized was going to be quite that tiny. So, okay, this one is wrapped in bubble wrap. And it's just the item itself. There's no extra packaging on these because, like I said, I forgot to click the gift wrap button. I wanted to get the extra gift wrapping. And the only reason I know about the gift wrapping is because I've been watching Model Chick NY's videos and she's been ordering a lot from Henry Venda lately. And I've seen the packaging that she's been receiving and it's just so pretty. I've been really impressed with it. So I wanted to order from them online. All right, I've got my bubble wrap off and I'm gonna show you what I got. So this first item is a lemon and fig candle. It's 2.1 ounces, so I knew it would be little. Okay, so there's a little warning on the back and the price and something's falling over there. So originally, I need my glasses. Originally this candle was $20 and I believe I paid eight for it. So I'll open it up here. This is a thin box, but it's nice. And it has this little flap inside and there she is. So, ooh, how pretty. I wanted one that had the stripes on it, and I've, if you've seen some of my other videos, I've said I don't like paying a lot for candles. $8, $10, that's about the max that I'll pay. Seems like it might have melted a little bit. Yeah. I don't know. Anyway, I smell the lemon. I'm not sure about the fig. I guess I'm not all that clear on how fig smells, but it's a cute little candle. I thought it would be a little bigger, but that's what a 2.1 ounce candle looks like compared to the one I have back here, which is, doesn't say how many ounces it is, but there you go. It's a tiny, it's more like a votive size. So, okay. It smells okay. Kind of reminds me of my grandmother's house though. The other thing I got was this, and it is a box of matches. See a little striker edge on the side? And it was $5, but with the sale it came out to $4.50. There it says Henry Bendel purple with the gold letters. And there's the little drawing. I just love that drawing of the Fifth Avenue building. And here's the striker. And when you open it up, look at all those pretty colors. So they're black matches and they have the purple, blue, and yellow striker points on them. Oh, and let me show you the size comparison because I thought that these were like a regular size book of matches, but this is a regular size book of matches. There's the Henry Bendel box. So they're quite a bit larger. And let me show you the match itself. There's a regular match with the Henry Bendel match. Box number two. We have another of these lovely little Henry Bendel shopping bags. Now remember this one, I did request the gift wrapping. So here's my envelope with my receipt. And this one has this tissue paper, which I did not have in the other box. So polka dots, cute. Has more paper, packing paper. And there are two items in here. This one, you notice these have boxes because I requested the gift wrap. And I wish I had done that on the candle and the matches so that I'd have more boxes because I can use those for decoration. So I got this box and this box. Let's see what's in them. Here is the package. And I'm noticing that it has a little tag on it. And this says, handwritten, it says sunglass case. And then the other one has a label that has what's on it too. So that's really nice because if I was getting these as gifts, then um, I would know what they were. I wouldn't have to open them up first. So that is a really nice little touch, I think. All right, I'm gonna take the ribbon off without untying it so that I can put it back on. Okay, here we go. 
And the box is nice. It's not super thick, but it's not super thin either. Pretty little polka dot paper and the Henry Bundle sticker. Open up the tissue paper. Ooh, it has a dust bag. I just love their dust bags. I bought one on eBay. I just paid $20 to get the giant one because I don't have a giant one yet. I want to use that as a laundry bag when I travel. All right, so as you know, this is a sunglass case. Here it is. This was, I think, about $50 or so, and I paid $23 for it with the sale. All of these items that I got were 60% off through their big semi-annual sale. So there's the front, the back, the side. This is like a kind of a light brown. I was hoping for a dark brown to go with my um, monogram pieces, like my Sarah wallet better, but this was the only color that kind of matched. So. Um, I wish it had gold lettering instead of silver. I didn't realize that, but that's all right. And then inside, it says Henry Bundle again. It has kind of a micro suede, and then it has this pocket. And there's something inside, like two things inside. So here's the Henry Bundle tag. There you go. And then it has this little card that says Brand Story. Oh, I've gotten one of these before. I got one of these with the train case. And it tells you about the brand, so you can pause that and read it if you'd like. Now, here is the test, because I have large sunglasses, and I look for cases that they will fit in, obviously. So let's see if these fit. And let me show you them on my face first to show you how big they are, just to give you a little perspective. So, big sunglasses, right? All right, let's see if they fit. And I figured if they don't, I can at least put my reading glasses in them. So they kind of fit, but I've got to squeeze them, so they probably don't, no, I can't close it, so they don't fit in there. That's not surprising, because it's really difficult to find um, sunglasses that, or a case that fits those sunglasses. So let me put my reading glasses in. That's what I will keep in here, if I can keep them in my hands. All right, reading glasses, those slip right in no problem and then I can close it with no problem and there you go so this case has one thing I didn't mention is it has this magnetic strip across it so it stays closed which is really nice and handy I saw these in the store when I bought that train case and that's why I wanted to get it when I saw it was on sale because it was originally like I said 50 something and I got it for 28 all right what's in this box Bubble wrap is off. Ribbon is coming off. Pretty tissue paper. Okay, tissue paper opening. And here's my item. Oh, that is smaller than I thought. It's in a huge box. Here's my little item. Anybody know what it is yet? Oh, look. Look, it's a little dog key holder. I wish I would stay focused on that instead of my face, but the camera has face detection, not dog detection. On the back, it says Henry Bendel, New York, and where'd my glasses go? Henry Bendel, New York, made in China. And then it has the Henry Bendel signature on the bottom there in gold, and a little gold rim around it. So pretty. Box number three. Henry Bendel bag, receipt, pretty paper. Box, box. And this one has a label, even though even though it's the only item in the box and it says box which is funny let's see what's in it ribbon off lid off pretty tissue paper all right here it comes here we are can you tell what it is yet oh look at that it's so pretty it is a little jewelry box you can see it says henry bundle 712 Fifth Avenue, New York, 1895. It's got a little bit of like dusty stuff on it, but it comes right off. So I'm gonna do a little spin for you. I'm gonna keep my face behind the box. So it's just got the stripes on all four sides there. And then on the top it has stripes. On the bottom it has the uh, brown sort of felty stuff and then the little label inside. It has silica packets. All right, it's just what I always wanted. 
It has this little label. For best treatment of your sterling silver, we recommend storing items individually in a cloth bag to delay the tarnishing process and prevent scratching. That's interesting. They're assuming I'm keeping silver in here instead of my stash of diamonds. It has this beautiful mirror, and then it has this little box that comes out, and that's lined in the microfiber suede, whatever that is. And then on the bottom is a remo not removable tray. It's very elegant, I love that brown. And these the gold hardware on the hinges is so pretty. And then another thing I really like about this is that it comes with a little key, and the key is on a tassel. So I'll pull that off. It's so nice that they have that wrapped up so it doesn't get all messed up. So there's a little tassel and a pretty little key. And then you just put that right in there and you can keep it stored like that so that um, it just looks pretty. And let's see if it locks. Okay, I just turned it full rotation. It is indeed locked. And turn it back and it's been locked. It's like magic. All right, thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a great day. Remember to subscribe if you would like to see more from me. Like the video, comment down below. Tell me what you got at the Henry Bendel sale or what you would like to have. Um, or if you have any questions about these items that I got, please ask and I will let you know whatever I can. Bye and thanks for watching. Have a great day.